So this is the blackest spot in the chin also. Hey, I have to see. When this vision disappears, Raghunath Das laments. The pain of separation that a Jata Prema devotee, a devotee whose love for Krishna has awakened, feels is very intense, no doubt. Again. The pain. Yeah. The pain of separation that a Jata Prem devotee, that is a devotee whose love for Krishna has awakened, feels is very intense. No doubt. You see, this is the feeling. Again, right? When from the after that, from first. Before. During a transcendental vision, Sri Raghunath in Svarupa Vesh hangs this shaped hairpins above Sri Mati's ears, and now he proceeds by placing a mask drop on her chin. Yeah. The mind is. Hairpin is also black. Reminding to putting a hairpin in the hair means hair is black and the pin is black. About the black. Jan. That your hair pin I'm putting to remind you about that. It's black sound. And again putting in the shape that must black. Yeah. To remind again to the sound. Everything is reminding of Shyam. Yeah. Every little movement, every little service. Yeah. Because my Swami is in Viraha, in the separation without Shyam. So if I will remind and he will think for Shyam, then she will think very close, Viraha will go. So to remind this, they put the black hair, black pin. More meditation, deep meditation. And when that vision disappears, Raghunath does laments. And when this vision is disappears, when it come out from the body, the answers, then it is there. In Sarup consciousness is a different he feeling. But when he comes in bodily consciousness, then this feeling is disappeared. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. The pain 
line of separation that a Jata Prem devotee, a devotee whose love for Krishna has awakened, feels is very intense. Only who can feel intense? Who has a love for Swamni? And Swamni feeling and love for Krishna. There are two types of feeling. One is the Swamni, what feeling in separation of Krishna. And one, they feel that Krishna is how feeling without Swamni. Two types of that. How mm. they are feeling without each other. But Srila Raghunath Das Goswami is in the kingdom of Mahabhav. That is even far beyond that. Only awakened state of love of Krishna. And Raghunath Das Goswami is in Mahabhav, why? Mahabhav she is not, but she is in Mahabhav. In the same feeling of Radhika she has. This is Mahabhav. My God, it's a double, double separation good <clears throat> Means Radhika, what she is feeling that Raghunath Das Goswami is also feeling like that. Mm. Because she is Radhika Das. She is a best servant of her. What is the beauty of taking ashray of Radhika that to feel the same feeling what she is This is the beauty to be a close of some, to be always to feel that shelter in other life. The same feeling, like you live with someone the same feeling you can understand of the person. Why? Because you are close and you can feel that vibration to that. So Raghunath Das Goswami is feeling what Radhika is feeling. And Radhika is feeling what Raghunath, my Raghunath was. Both each other they feel each other because of the clothes. When the devotee reaches the state of Rati, he gets visions of the Lord's forms and qualities and he... When the devotee reaches to the... Stage of Rati. Rati. Rati means? Rasti. Spiritual desire. Intense attachment. Intense attachment. Sri Guru Charana Rati. Rati means nothing I see without you. So Narko Bij. Rati. That's right. Rati is important. Intense Rati will come, then you can see. Any diversion will not, you can see, my dear. <coughs> Anything might dive, might divert my mind with any other subject, then there is no rest. Hmm. So when the devotee reaches the stage of rati, he gets visions of the Lord's form and qualities. Ah. And he experiences great transcendental ecstasy. <coughs> he, he see the vision. He, he has the vision to see. 
because of the rati attachment is so intense that i can feel you i can feel you my dear swami and i can feel your lover of because i have intense rati in intenseness i want to stop this but i cannot stop yeah that is divine chakshudan delo je janme janme prabhu se divya what about divya that is the divine knowledge it is a prakash prem bhakti jahavate avidya vina when prema bhakti will come in our life all ignorance avidya automatic will go off prem bhakti not coming nothing can happen दिव्य ज्ञान हृदय प्रकाशित मैंने दिव्य ज्ञान यू इन लाइफ में विद द डिवाइन नॉलेज टू सी दो डिटेल्स डीप इन दर्ल्ड but when the stage of prem is attained there is not so much bliss felt from perceiving the lord's form in a spurti anymore again but when the stage of prem is attained there is not so much bliss felt from perceiving the lord's form in a spurti anymore why the mind then becomes greedy after something even more special that is the attainment of the lord's direct darshan prem can bring you for that rati will bring you rite prakashito divine knowledge some opening and some spurti spurtis spurtis sometimes we come and go but when prema will come you see face by face you touch you feel you talk you can be you can serve and how intense love is there one is rati one is prem yeah Shri Raghunath Das is on the level of Mahabhav so his heart is always filled with great eagerness to see the lord directly between sporty visions and sakshat darshan directly seeing there is one medium stage which is called sakshat kara kalpa or vi sporty a more vivid kind of sporty different type of surprise feeling this sporty means a surprise feeling they mm. find different type of realization so first is rati when intense attachment come then this poor people 
and when a spurti comes, different type of divine inspiration and realization is spurti. And after that, it is come a stage of the love because of this spurti and this, it becomes more close. And then I see this today. Sakshat Darshan, Sakshat. Start living in your Sarupa. Rati to live in the Sarup also is a Rati required. Greed is a Rati. Most highest greed, say Rati. And the greed when it start is a greed. But when the greed becomes intense, it becomes a All the transcendental visions of Sri Raghunath Das are in that category. Both in his external consciousness and during transcendental visions, he is focused on Sri Radha's lotus feet. Always. In sadhak deha or siddha deha. Every moment he is fixed there. There is no any moment when he is out of that. Wherever there is full surrender, there can be no question of a division of interests. Interest, division, no. Division, interest, not false. <coughs> Understand. The perfection of Prem cannot be attained by thinking, I will give something to my body, and my family, and the rest I will give to my beloved deity. Yeah. Everything must be surrendered to the lotus feet of the beloved deity. Yeah. Yeah. Srila Narottam Dastaku is crying, O oh Lord, I did not worship you without hidden motives. If there are any other motives with the, in the heart, it is called deceitfulness. Without being free from ulterior motives, the Prem Sadhana cannot be done. Yeah. <clears throat> the desire for distinction is a great enemy of the aspirant. Desire of? Distinction. <clears throat> I want to be recognized as somebody special. Even a person who has renounced everything may desire to touch the stool of the desire for distinction. I am a great scholar. I am very qualified. I am very wise. I am absorbed in bhajan. I am very famous. I will lord it over everyone and thus become very happy. These desires are called pratishtasha or the desire for distinction. And there is no greater obstacle to the development of devotion than that. This desire is like a band of pirates that enters the boat, the boat of Sadhana and plunders it and dragging it down. In his Mana Shiksha, teachings for the mind, 
Sri Raghunath Das is praying. O oh mind, the shameless dog-eating woman of the desire for prestige, distinction and position is dancing in my heart. How can pure, beautiful love of God ever touch it then? Therefore, always serve the matchless leading devotees who are dear to the Lord. So this can be quickly chased, chased out of the heart and love of God may enter. Unequivocal, also undivided surrender, cannot take pl place when we keep on pulling between different interests. I am Sri Radha's maidservant. I don't have a relationship with anyone else. This kind of loyalty will awaken in the heart of a pure, independent devotee. Sri Raghunath Das falls on the bank of Radha Kunda and weeps. What to do and how to become Sri Radha Rani's beloved, that must be learned from the Acharyas. Tulasi is now in the kingdom of the Leela holding a cup with musk in her left hand and a brush in her right hand, she stands before Swamini, wearing her leftover glistening blue sari. Swamini mercifully gave her the sari because she was very much satisfied with Tulsi's service. How beautiful she looks in this. Seeing Swamini's playful eyebrows and eyes, Tulsi calls him Briga Shavakshi, fawn eyed girl. Hmm? Fawn eyed girl, Mriga Shavakshi. I think she looks like a deer, no? The eyes are like a deer. Mriga. Deer always searching the smell of Kasuri. Hmm. So Mriga means yeah, who always coming um, searching to the, the smell of Kasuri. That means Mriga. Hmm. And this smell is coming from the navel of the Mirga himself, but he searched in the forest. So Radhika is always in the heart of Krishna, but she is Mirga Sarakshi, means she is also behaving like a Mirga, searching in the other places. But Radhika, <laughs> Read the Radhika, Krishna is always there in her and sees. So her eyes today become mega sabaks. Tulsi Mandri holds the cup with the fragrant mask close to Swamini's nose so that she will remember Krishna's bodily fragrance. Yeah. And her eyes that extend her ears move around restlessly. Swamini then asks Tulasi, where does that fragrance come from? I understand that my Priyatam is coming. The fragrance of Krishna's body defeats that of a blue lotus flower anointed with musk. 
This fragrance pervades all the 14 worlds and attracts everyone, blinding the eyes of the girls. Oh, Saki, Krishna's fragrance maddens the world. It enters the woman's nostrils and always remains sitting there, holding them and taking them to Krishna. It steals the bodies and minds of women and makes their nose twirl. The women of the world become like mad women whose braids and girdles loosen of agitation. That's how the highwayman of Krishna's bodily fragrance is. Shimati is agitated by smelling the musk and she shows many sweet emotions through the expressions on her face and in her eyes. Tulsi then says, Oh, fawn-eyed girl, he who becomes agitated from the smell of this mask has not come. Hearing that he has not come, Swamini becomes upset. And it is as if her heart breaks. But Tulsi makes Sham appear in the form of the musk drop on her chin. And she says, you know what this chin of yours is? It is the temple of Mukunda's bliss. He frees you from whatever you have, and that's why he is Mukunda. Hearing this, Swamini is overwhelmed, and she sits still so that Tulsi catches her opportunity and puts the musk drop on her chin. How wonderfully this musk drop blazes there, shining, like a baby black bee drinking honey from a golden lotus flower. Tulsi says, He, Krishna, is black, and the drop is also black. This drop has now attained his rightful place. Krishna will become jealous of this drop. The owner of the temple will come and fade that drop out by kissing your chin. And that's exactly what I want. Being fully surrendered to her, the maidservants know exactly what is on Swamini's Mahababa mind, and they serve her accordingly. By Swamini's grace, they know exactly what she needs. I call myself a maidservant, but still Swamini does not respond to me. As soon as my mind and my heart become qualified, she will certainly respond. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I'm crying for her day and night. Can merciful Swamini remain silent, although she sees me in this con condition? Raghunath Asko Swami wept day and night. His body and mind were burning, and his body was grayed by dust. He had gone blind from fasting, and his body that fell to him like a burden was burning in the fire of separation. Although we may repeat the words of the Acharyas, our prayers to Swamini's lotus feet must become pure. 
and there seems no, to be no practice more delightful than this. Those who want to make their bhajan a success, successful, must depend on this vani, these great works, words. Each syllable crystallizes one pointed loyalty to Radha's lotus feet. Yeah. What is the song? It is from Pada Kalpa Taru. Kande Gosai Ratri Dine Pudi Yai Tano Mane Kshane Anga Dula Yadu Shara Chakshu Anda Anahara Apanara Deha Bhara Vira He Hoilu Jara Jara. Tulsi lovingly makes many jokes by putting the musk drop on Swamini's chin. Tulsi, uh, this drop makes the natural beauty of Sri Radhika's face even more brilliant. <coughs> Yeah. <coughs> Srila Vishwana Chakravati Thako writes in his Krishna Baba Namrita, This blue drop is like the full moon rising from an ocean of sweetness. Seeing this, Krishna will consider it to be a seal and declaring to be his. And he will personally come to rejoice in experiencing its flavor again and again. Tulsi brings strong emotions into Swamini's heart. Yeah. Blessed is her expertise in devotional service. How many memories of different pastimes doesn't Tulasi awaken in Swamini's heart? When she holds Swamini's chin, she suddenly doesn't get anything anymore and her heart immerses in an ocean of love and separation as she anxiously laments. To whom shall I give this musk drop now? She Haripa Chila sings. O oh, Mrigakshi, four-night girl, O oh, worshipper of Sri Govinda's play, when will I put a glistening musk drop on your chin that is like a divine temple of bliss, so that your face will become as beautiful as the moon with all its 16 digits? <laughs> Sixteen digits is Mahamantra. Ah. And this is Mahamantra. Krishna, the black drop will come. She is there. My code. Eh? <laughs> Swami Chi is there and black drop is coming from outside. That is means sixteen syllabus in beginning. Hare Krishna. Krishna is coming from outside. Hare Krishna. And, and he is a covering. Covering. Thick is covering to this black rock. It's all meeting. So this is another meeting, Gurudev. Meeting, no. Meeting means Radha and Krishna meeting is the Mahamantra. Hmm. When a chick is there and the 
must drop it small. So the big area is good area. Radhika. Radhika and thick area. And the Krishna is inside. Become small. So black and golden always together. And the Mandiri is also creating more and more rati and frame to Radhika by doing it. And we have to develop huh, also greed, no, intense greed. Greed is one thing and intense greed is rati. When it is Intense greed will come, then a scooty will come. Huh? Mm. And when a scooty will come, then more frame, frame will, we will start. And when frame will come, then it will be no distance, sakshat, we in the front. Face to face. We become face to face. Very close. Without blame, not closeness. Blame means devotional. Love in action, when love starts moving, that is devotion. That is devotion. When love is in action, in activity. Rag Bhakti without greed is not working. Because we not need only greed, we need intense greed to create a school thing. A school thing means realizations. Flash, no? Flash of Surprise! <laughs> what I know, a dream is happening. That is a school. This purti cannot come without peace. Intense greed can make you peaceful. When there is no intense greed, mind will not become peaceful. Because I have so many griefs, so many desires to do. I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. So intenseness is not there for one point. So its purity is not coming. Intense greed is not there. Chanchala, mind is chanchala. Sometimes something, sometimes. Yeah. <coughs> Complete. 
और सन्नान को स्थायी विवाह महाराज रहती और इनके अनुभाव प्रभाव संचारी अपने आचार्य ने सब विचार कर दिए अनुभाव हुए प्रभाव हुए संचारी हुए उद्दीपन हुए आलम्बन हुए अरे रसगुल के लिए आपके आचार्य ने बात ये हो रही है महाराज कि जब तक रति ना हो तब तक छोटी ना तो फल काटते आ रहे वो वृक्ष में तो रति हो जाए तब स्फूर्ति आवे तब रति जब तक ना हो तो जो मनी स्थिर ना होगी और जब मनी स्थिर ना हो गो तो स्फूर्ति कैसे हो गो उज्जवल नील मणि कार आपके भाव को लक्षण कर रहे हैं निर्विकार के चित्त निर्विकार चित्त में जो प्रथम विक्रिया है वायु को नाम भाव है विदाउट बिकम की मेकिंग माइंड पीसफुल इज नॉट पॉसिबल लाइक यू गो टू वन प्लेस वेल द वॉटर यू कैन सी योर फेस बट टेक वन स्टोन एंड थ्रो द वाट स्टोन ऑन द वाटर then oh. water will start moving and try to see your face <laughs> no you cannot see why because it is not peace so we cannot see because i am not peaceful that's the point and why not peaceful because we are intense greed is not there so many things to do so one pointed decision is not there greed is there but i have so many subject to do in life so i have not serious in one pointed i have no desire for one subject i have many subject to do i have my family i have my partner i have my friend i have my house i have my car i have my this i have my this so these areas make me diverses for greed and intense greed means this i become so fixed that other desire become over no other desire or i make the organize in different way that no disturb to me <coughs> I don't want to put my energy in other subject <clears throat> because I want to bring this in intense way to realize some. This is the dhyana. Also, dhyana stage, spurti is coming and realization is coming. बीज शुद्ध होना चाहिए महाराज तो तो फल आवे वो बीज में गड़बड़ी आई जाएगी जीव के में तो फिर वो स्थायी भाव फलात्मक नहीं बने वो सो ही इज टेलिंग द सीड इफ इज नॉट गुड सीड एंड यू प्लांट दैट सीड देन हाउ द फ्रूट्स विल बी बीटू 
So the thing is this, the seed, basic seed is my understanding of my realization where you stand, where I am. And my seed is on planted in the mountains or in the fertile land. The mountains are my material body. I put seed in my material consciousness or in my spiritual body to get the sarup, then from that where greed can come. If I put the seed in the mountain, then fruit will not come. And what is the mountain? Mountain is my material body. The circle of the mind, where the mind is fixed. Na? Mind and heart together with agreement. Mind and heart never in agreement. You see, the real conflict is in my mind and my heart. My heart says something and my mind says something. This is not conflict. Rather. So, Atma, Manasina, Jananam. You open it, Maharaj. Yeah. So, so mind has to be in agreement with my heart. Feet karke thakul ji ko nahi bad. So the mind and the heart has to be in agreement. That has to always check, my dear. And mind is why creating conflict inside me? Why you want to disturb? This is the disturbance. When mind is not in agreement of my heart and my intelligence here, yeah, this is the conflict. Yeah. Yeah. So mind has to be in agreement because when mind and heart is in agreement, then feeling can come. When inner fight is there, then there is conflict. Samjhe? Vera mana angrejji samajra. Acha. To conflict, when there is a conflict, is like a water, you throw the stone. In the water, how you can see the fish? It's a conflict. Dazzling. Then you have to wait till the water not become still, huh? still clear. Clear. That is the period of the time giving. And putting the seed, I put one seed in that mountain. Take one seed and put in the stones. Palaya, big tree will come, plant will come. No. So why? Because this is not fertile. 
is not giving my material body, my senses, they are not fertile. It's like a stone. It will not give. So we are so materially conscious, we want to put all mercy. Seed is the mercy of the Mahatmas. So we put in, in this material, material stones. So where, how this will work? Kirpa to barasti hai. Mercy is coming, but we put in the stone. <laughs> it cannot develop, no? It cannot develop. Or seed is waiting when fertile, some fertilizer and the, some earth will come near to me, then I will produce. <laughs> Putting water on the stone every day. <laughs> Nothing happened. So the, where is the fertile area? The heart. Heart is the fertile. His purti will come, prem will come, heart is giving prem. And his senses give love, and says, senses only want to enjoy, never give love, not service. His nature is to enjoy, self-enjoy. My interest. Because he's not fertile. He says to Abraham, we have to be cautious what to do, how to move in our spirit. We need Rati. Intensely, not greed only one. One pointed intensely. Why? For spurti, for self reliance. To without unconditional, I feel some realization. My surprising realization. That we need. That we need in life. Give more asana, Opa. How do you want it? Krishna Nagi Sata was the one name. Krishna? Yes. 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 Shila Narutam Das Thakur is crying, O oh Lord, I did not worship you without being free from any motives. That is the problem. I am not free. <laughs> How greed will come. Understand? This material world always catching me to not to be a free. Some people come to me, say about bhajan. I say, first you balance your material thing. Why? Because you are not free, I see this. And when you are not free, how you will do bhajan? You see, Narottam Das Thakur is standing, you are not free. You come but you are not free. You are holding many things. And you don't know even how to break this bundle. Means not one stick is there. You make so many sticks, 
that is become 50 sticks in that bundle. 50 problem added together one time. And you, you don't know how to break it. Then how are people can be free? To become free, he has to throw it out, this bundle, and he don't want to throw it out because this is his whole world. If he will throw it out, then he has nothing. One rich guy, he says that Maharaj is writing that he has a nice family, nice children, a nice house, and he's living, but he got the wrong way of society, and he started smoking marijuana and chinaga and some smoking. And this way, he becomes so crazy that he forget his home. So he start living eh, in ha uh, one park. He left his town and he went to the one park. And he had one cloth. And he start collecting the garbage there. Somebody gives drink Coca-Cola, Fanta, this, that. He collects all this and the papers, what is outside in the spa, he collects and cleans and he stops it. And one day his friend come there in that park. He said, what are you doing here? <laughs> He said, who are you? He said, I'm your old friend. I think your family, your children, your wife is searching you and you are here? Huh? I have no family. Why you want to steal my property? Why, where is your property? You see this, what is the store, all my boxes in my property and the all notes on it, in one, papers, <laughs> in my notes, and this is my all material, television, sofa set, chair, everything is one, one point. Two boxes or I stock it, and you want to take it there, I will not leave you. He said, Are they, you become crazy? He hold him and bring to doctor. Then he did, doctor gives some medicine, then he come down. Because he forget that he, he has anything. So we forget in collecting of paper and the garbage that we have something more than this. So really, we not come to live for this. By mistake, we create greed to collect this garden. <laughs> ah. If there are any other motives within the heart, then it is called deceitfulness. Any motive other than one point. Then it's not greed is there. Deceiving myself. Wow. Without being free from ulterior motives, the frame sadhana cannot be done. Yeah. Any prem sadhana, you have to come from your wrong motivation. Then you can say, 
There are two types of love, you know. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you very much. This is American love. If you don't say I love you in one week, she will divorce you. <laughs> Same thing telling divorce. Yeah, I see from my eyes. Then fifteen days the husband is not telling I love you, the wife divorces. Why? You are not free for me. And the bechara husband, he don't know this culture, that what I cook for you, clean your house, that is no meaning, but I have to say I love to you. This is one culture. And devotion means I don't say, but I am devoted. My action is only in love with you. That is the real love. By devotion what happening is the real love. I don't know, I surprised when somebody say about devotee, they become very burnt out. Oh, this is only Krishna devotee or any... Are a devotion, any circumstances can happen, yeah? Love in action. And this practice, not only for Krishna, any circumstances when you do, that is only for Krishna will happen. By meditating that what I do for Krishna, or what you, your behavior will become like this, Krishna will be there. You think, do for others, Krishna will come to you either. Hmm. Because he only wants love. You do for individual, but Krishna will say, no, no, this is for me. I will come and steal this. <laughs> <laughs> this is his stealing. He is still only love. So love in action and no diversion in that. You have to check. Other motivation in that love, your family, any other item is also disturbance. Also disturbance. One pointed we have to bring our mind. Yes. Go. The desire for distinction is a great enemy for the sadhaka. Mohan, Mohan. Gurudev, so I want to recall a little bit because you say at the same time we should do all our duties, but at the same time we should not be, uh, how do you say, having any hidden motives. So how, from what, what I understand is that we do everything, but we do it for our Ishta, we do it for our Swamini, because in every living entity and in every circumstance we see her. There is two circumstances. Yes. One is I fixed one point, mm -hmm. then I see other. Yes. From you all relation is there. Right. Is more easy. And what when difficulty is this that I don't believe you. When I have no faith. No? Because I have some problem. Without of faith, without of bad association, or without of other things. But my love will be in action when I will practice to the Bhagavad Gita 13.14, all the behaviors like this, that is love in action. 
practice of 1340 is devotion. 12th chapter, verse 1340. 14 is a devotion. Devotional practice starts from 12th chapter, 1340. Devotion means that when this natural comes to you, without you be believe in Krishna, Krishna himself say, I will say you are my dear. I will say, you not need to say to me. I will say, you are my dear and I will catch you. Mm. See this Bhagavad Gita 13. You don't develop faith. You have no istanista. But you do that devotional <coughs> practice. He will say that he say, this is I, you are my dear. Krishna is telling you are my dear before I, devotee. That is the great thing. You are my dear. But devotion is important. What devotion? What is written in Khati? No envy. Kind hearted. Kind hearted everyone. Never think that you are a boss. You have no belief in Krishna, but Krishna will make you believe. Like eh? in India they say, I'm a bad woman. My nature is prostitute nature. I want to give it to many men. But it's the power of my husband that he can make me controlled by his sakti. Right or not? So Krishna has a power. If, if, if you have a devotion, he will control you and he will put heart, love in your heart. He will send his own person to penetrate this divine love and sweetness but we have to do the devotional practice. He, he, he will do and it will not become devotion. I have to do for myself. Can what? I repeat this, Gurudev? Because I think it's a very big point you are making. Yes. Krishna is saying that ah, oh, you do the devotional practice, you are practicing in this way what I, I recommend. And I sent one of my persons, that means I sent my uh, Radhika's Dasis in this world and they, they will put their Shakti, their love in you and they will put all their um, devotional service and their expertise in you if you only uh, try to practice this service, yeah. right? And then it will be complete. All set. <laughs> But it should be for every living being. For every living being. Yeah, devotion. Not only in temple, outside not. Only tilak, I will see that I will devotee and no other. All living beings. It should be for all living beings, not only for those in the temple or those who are having a tilak. All living beings should receive this unconditional love. You see the practice? Saint Francis. Saint Francis was devotee. Are there many devotees like Prabhupada used to? Saint Francis is also there because he is near to you. But Prabhupada you see. Bhakti Baba Puri Maharaj you see. Mm -hmm. Narayan Maharaj you see. How much he become angry I see this. And how much he has the love, I see this. Uh, Maharaj, one time Vinod Baba told, until you don't have this, uh, this vision, you cannot do bhajan. You see, that all comes by his mind. How is important. Until you don't love anybody? No bhajan. This is has to see, all Vaishnava. 
वृंदावन वासी जतो वैष्णव जतो वैष्णव गण ऑल वैष्णव आई हैव टू बी दिस एवरी लिविंग बींग this i am telling you not for knowledge what i say this is for practice so this is difficult thing <laughs> honest all because for for mind listening is a good thing because i have nothing to do with that <laughs> i listen and i will i will forget but what i say some points only to practice without practice no change will come understand or not it's not simple sound simple yeah very only thing only one thing is the simple thing that is devotion Repeat, Maharaj, please speak up. Only one thing is the simplest thing, and that is devotion. Only one thing in the whole world, anything is the simplest thing is the devotion. Yeah. You see, <coughs> but we. Problem happened what that we never do in my previous life devotion, so it difficult now to do. All my dealings were non devotion, so now new thing I have to do is a new set, but nature is devotion. When I born, mother devotion I know see in my life. How mother was devoted to the baby. She don't know baby only mother, and mother don't know only baby is not devotion. Two unknown couple meet each other, and they become friend. And this friendship become more close and more close. This is not devotion, and it become at one point like so close closeness that we want to do everything for each other. Is not devotion. What is devotion? Only what you worship in temple is that is devotion. Every action can be a devotion. Whole whole your behavior can be a devoted or not? Yes. Maybe I don't know you, but devotion because of my devotion, Krishna will say you are my dear, and He will come to catch your heart. But if my behavior is not like this, 
and I am only one pointed with Krishna meditating and only my devotion up to temple and up to temple in the front of Radha Mohan and I do not see his parikar, all his family or any different living being. That way is not devotion. I am nowhere. I have to see every individual with that eyes. Then Radha Mohan will accept me that, okay, you become my devotee. Right or not? Feel it? <clears throat> this is my totally wrong conception. Only temple is the place to do devotion and other place I will fight with others and criticize to others. Prabhupada said temple is the place, a school, to learn to do with every individual soul. It's schooling time. And then practice. Practice. With all living beings, because Krishna is living in the heart of every living being, when he is not there. God is in all living beings' heart. You see the life of Jesus, he was loved with his father or not. And his all action with anyone, how is his behavior? All his devotion, all his behavior shows the devotion for his father. He shows or not, I see it like devotion. Every action he is doing for his father, and he is looking everyone like his friend or brother and sister. He connects with all, every living being with the Father. This is devotion. Understand? And when this is start happening, my all bad habits will go out. All my bad things will be automatic, without no knowing it will remove. My many desires will become only one desire. Because of our misconception, we do not understand the reality. Hmm. Aja, you see, Bhagavad Gita, 12th chapter is for what? What chapter? Name? Devotional practice. Devotional service. And second and first chapter for? What? Oh my God, what is the name? Yoga. Oh. Ah, this, yeah, this is the third chapter, but the first one is Purukshetra and Dharmakshetra. <laughs> second chapter? Yeah, Karma Yoga, Jnana Yoga, only I want to know this. Different kind of yogas. But we never try to know the Bhakti Yoga. <clears throat> And the easiest thing is bhakti yoga. Are what I will do the karma, karma yoga I knowledge, but bhakti will change all the karma jnana. Different. Bhakti is the only way for my check this. Rathe Rathe Govinda Govinda